Tarrant County Sheriff Bill Wayborn joining us here in studio. Uh, Tarrant County is not a sanctuary city. No, sir. Uh, we know where you stand on this. You enforce uh, the crackdown on illegal immigration. How does this bill uh, affect what happens for people like you and for your men and women? It really has little or no effect. Uh, we are not, uh, the law says if you knowingly do not cooperate with ICE, that's when the sheriff or the chief can be in trouble. We absolutely do work with ICE officials, and as uh, far as everything else operationally, it really doesn't change anything. People are concerned that this is going to be a situation where you get pulled over for a traffic ticket and they say, show us your papers. Um, tell us, is this, is this going to start happening here? No, is, is I think that's pretty mythical that that isn't going to happen and also uh, it is not going to happen if somebody is reporting a crime, if they are a witness to a crime or they're a victim of a crime, we're not. The law says we're not to be asking them immigration questions. So those people are still going to be encouraged to call the police and report those crimes. We don't want that happening. What about the perception though? The reality is one thing, but people sometimes uh, have a different idea. Maybe victims won't call in. Are you worried at all about that? I, I'm not at this point because I don't think there's any data to prove that, that that's, that's an issue. And, and certainly, and I think what we've got to do from the public perception is absolutely echo that those people are not going to be questioned about who, where they're from, is that we want them to report those crimes, that we want them to talk to us, and we're not going to be asking questions about that. Now, already in, in Tarrant County, we were talking about this earlier, about 200 detainers, you say, are placed every month. That's about right. And there are two ICE agents handling those cases. They mentioned that, as you did, that a lot of times these people are released with a court date from ICE. That's right. Now, this bill might encourage you guys to keep them locked up until ICE can actually have them in court. Is that going to bog down the system? No, not at all. We, is it Right now, like I said, it wouldn't change anything, is that we have an agreement with ICE that we keep them up to 48 hours, and then they're, they're released. And ICE responds generally within 12 to 13 hours. They're, they're generally very prompt and very quick about that. Or they issue those court orders. Uh, Sheriff, I want to read you a tweet sent out tonight by Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, uh, tweeting that SB4 makes us less safe, he says. Ties the hands of police chiefs, sheriffs like you. It prevents them from requiring their officers to focus on local law enforcement priorities. We hear where you stand already. Is, is he way off base there? I, I think so. I, I think that I understand it's frustrate where he might be frustrated, but this law, if Dallas County, which I, I believe that they are, they're operating within those ICE detainers and they're honoring those, then nothing really changes. And far as the issues in the field, there's a huge discretion there for officers to ask any of those questions, and it can only be if they're criminally detained for something. These detainers only take place inside the brick and mortar of the jail.